Station at Bellevue has symptoms associated with monkeypox and has been tested for confirmation. So this comes a day after doctors in Massachusetts identified a case there. Richard Giacovis is at uh, Bellevue right now with the latest for us. Richard. Laura is even a city that is still dealing with COVID and its latest surge. Now comes a potentially new virus to New York City. This one is called monkeypox, and it's the latest virus to infect a potential person here at Bellevue Hospital. And what this is causing is pandemonium in the city, because hearing the word monkeypox after dealing with COVID, well, experts say this new virus could be spreading fast. City health officials won't say what symptoms the patient is experiencing, but tonight at Bellevue Hospital, doctors are treating a person who may have monkeypox. The person is currently in isolation and undergoing tests. If those tests show that the person does in fact have monkeypox, the CDC will have to confirm the diagnosis. This potential case in the city comes a day after the first confirmed case of monkeypox in the United States was discovered in Massachusetts yesterday. Before that, dozens of monkeypox cases have been identified so far this year in European countries, including the UK and Portugal. Luckily, you know, this is not something that spreads very easily. Monkeypox is rare outside of Central and West Africa, where the virus originated decades ago. But recent clusters outside of Africa have health officials looking closely as to how the virus is spreading. It does seem that these cases coming out of Europe may have been linked to sexual contact. So, uh, you know, authorities are uh, suggesting people that they, if you have any rashes or strange skin lesions that resemble this, that you should go and get checked out. So what is monkeypox? Well, health officials say it's related to smallpox with symptoms not as severe. It's usually transmitted through broken skin or your respiratory tract. The early symptoms are flu-like and include fever, headache, muscle aches, chills, and exhaustion. After a few days, that rash appears, following by potentially large legions throughout the body. It can look very, uh, very disfiguring, especially when you see those, you know, pus filled blisters. Usually, monkeypox lasts a few weeks with no proven treatment, but doctors say most people recover without requiring hospitalization. Comforting to hear, but in a world still recovering from a deadly pandemic, just hearing about something called monkeypox could be a trigger for stress and anxiety. But there is some good news. There are vaccines that protect against it. So there was a vaccine approved about three years ago for smallpox that actually has an indication for monkeypox because the two viruses are so closely linked that it covers that too. So U.S. officials say they've already ordered an additional 13 million doses of that vaccine, which could effectively treat monkeypox if the virus actually spreads. As for the potential case here in New York, doctors aren't saying if the patient traveled outside of the country. It's a wait and see game for now. We're live tonight on the east side of Bellevue Hospital. Richard Giacomas, Fox 5 News. Laura, Steve. All right. Thanks, Richard.